You can use video in the classroom to inspire, engage students in a topic um, very easily. For example, you can show 20 seconds or 30 seconds of a video and it just engages the students in a way that it might if you show them a photograph or ask them leading questions. For example, there's a video called Butler School in the Life series and it's about people training to be butlers. But visually it's a very interesting video and it can really get students interested in the topic of work and education very quickly. Good evening, sir. My name is Michael. I'm your butler. My name is Jose. I'm your butler. Can I bring you some refreshments, sir? I'm your butler. <laughs> Good evening, sir. <laughs> what I might do in the lesson is just show that section before I show the whole thing. Sometimes I would play it without any sound, so students have to predict what they think the narrator's talking about. Or I might play it with only the sound and the students don't watch the video. They have to predict what they think they're going to see on the video screen. And it's just a way of engaging them in the video before they then watch the whole thing. It's the first day of class and the students are learning how to introduce themselves to their gentleman or lady. A proper butler must also learn to carry himself correctly. There goes Mr Whedon. Your champagne, my lady. Your champagne, my lady. No problem, sir. Lots of students get their information from video these days. They tend to read and listen to things less and less. So using video to teach students something new about the world is a really great use of video in the classroom. And the advantage with video is that it combines visual elements with listening elements and so it's much more powerful for passing on information to students. I'm learning English in England because I need it for my job and also because I enjoy learning languages. At the moment I'm learning French. I use it mostly for holidays but from time to time I use it for business. I'm from Mumbai. I'm learning to speak English to take my exam in it because I need it for work. I'm learning Chinese at the moment because there are so many businesses in China. I feel that in the future it will help me with my work. And so in this video from Life we've combined real people talking about the way they learn English and other languages with some interesting visuals and animation. I've got a book and every time I learn a new word I write it down and I also write the definition so I can go back to it and memorize it. I use different techniques. I might think, does it sound like something I know? Does it look like something I know? For example, un plat is a plate, and I think it's like a plate but without the e. Sometimes I write the meaning of the word or draw a picture of it on a card, and then I carry these cards with me so I can learn them when I'm on the bus on the way to work. Well, when I hear a word, I repeat that word over and over again. So in that video we introduce the idea to students of different ways of studying and remembering new vocabulary, new aspects of language and it's also a nice springboard into the whole topic of how do you learn. We can ask students the same questions in the classroom and get ideas back from them. Ultimately we want students to learn English through using video and typically we use video to teach new vocabulary and help students with listening skills but it's also interesting to think about how you can integrate video into a speaking lesson, a reading or a writing lesson, how you can introduce new grammar. In the example you're about to see this is taken from beginner level life and what happens in the video is that you see photographs and there's a lot of recycling of language connected with names, nationalities and feelings. And it's a very good example of how you integrate video very effectively, even at a low level. Hi, my name's Tom Brooks. I'm a photographer. This is my top 10. My favourite National Geographic photos of people and places. Number one is a photo by Alex Treadway. The woman is from Nepal in the Himalayas. She's Nepalese. Photo number two is in Asia too. 
the man is from Mongolia. He's a hunter. This photo is by Charles Meacham. So in that extract, you'll have seen it was a very simple use of video with nice recycling of key vocabulary. But then afterwards, if you wanted to integrate the video in a different way, you could, for example, uh, play the video, turn the sound down, have students working in pairs and get them to describe to each other what they can see in each photograph as a way to activate the language that they've learned. This is photo number three. It's by James Stanfield. It's in Mongolia too. It's evening. The woman is happy. So we've seen from the videos that there are basically three ways of using video effectively. First of all, to inspire, engage and interest students. You can also use the informational strength of video, which combines the visual side with the sound listening side. And then finally, there are different ways to integrate video into your lessons to help students learn English more effectively.